All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video. And today we are talking about the latest version of TWRP for the Poco X3 Pro. And there is a reason why this is special. This is important because now Android 12 encryption decryption is fully supported, which means in TWRP, you can connect it to the computer. You can copy custom ROMs and zips on the internal storage and you can use it. Earlier, what I had to do was use a OTG pen drive and there used to be, you know, a lot of issues doing that. So now you can actually use the internal storage for a lot of purposes. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, let's see what we have here. We have TWRP 3.6.2 underscore 12. Now this is of course a uh, unofficial version by Nebrisi, but it works just fine. This has been updated on the 20th of June, 2022. The version has been bumped. Android 12 encryption is now fully supported with pin password and pattern. Very, very nice. Added support for EROFS. Now EROFS is probably a new type of file system. I'm going to study on that and I'll let you guys know in another video. But for now it does support MIUI and AOSP and it will be a very, very good experience getting this installed. So let's first download the file okay so we will download the file to the phone i have also downloaded it to the pc so that i can show you how to install it using pc if you're doing it for the first time and i will also show you how to install it using the built-in twrp that you have with your custom rom or whatever the download speed is really really slow and that's a little weird so let's quickly cancel this and let's maybe try to download it once again okay download Okay, there you go. The speed is back up and running. Now I'll quickly tell you what all you need. First of all, you of course need a Poco X3 Pro, which has an unlock bootloader. And on your computer's end, you will need platform tools. It's a very, very simple, uh, you know, folder, which you can extract and keep it on your PC, wherever you like. The link for the same is mentioned in the description, right? You need to have your passboot drivers for your Poco X3 Pro installed. Now, I'm pretty sure you would already have it. Otherwise, you will not be able to unlock your device's bootloader because for that, you need fastboot access as well. Now, once you've taken care of all these things, I do highly recommend you to make sure that all the data on your phone is backed up because ideally flashing TWRP should not land you in some trouble, but it's always a good practice to back up all your data just in case things go wrong. Now, as we can see over here, the TWRP is downloaded. So what I'm going to do here, I'm on CRBride 8.6. So I'm going to go to restart and we'll go to recovery. First, I'll show you how to, you know, update the recovery from any custom recovery itself. It's a very, very simple and straightforward process. So let's go ahead and do that first. All right. So now while we are in TWRP, you can just go to install. Okay. And let's go up a level. Go to download, select install image. Now, as you can see, this is the latest TWRP that we have that we just downloaded. Okay. So let's select this, select the recovery partition, swipe to confirm flash. As you can see, image flash completed. Now go to reboot and select recovery. Bam, you will be booting in into the new TWRP. Now, if you want to do it from TWRP itself, updating TWRP is a very, very straightforward and simple process. But just, you know, for the fact that some people might have just unlocked their bootloader now. And let me just show you this. Unlocking or decrypting your data is working fine. There you go. Right. Now, second method in which you have just unlocked your bootloader and you want to install TWRP for the first time. In that case, let me actually take you to the computer. And before that, I will show you that you need to boot into past boot over here, right? So you can go to the bootloader. Ideally, you would press and hold volume down and power till the time you see the fast boot logo. You can see the fast boot logo over here. Then connect the phone to the computer. Okay. As you can see, we've connected the phone to the computer. Now let's quickly go to the computer screen. Now over here, I've extracted my platform tools folder to this particular folder that is gadgets. That is where I keep all my files. Okay. And we'll quickly download the file so that uh, you can actually see that I'm doing step by step. And if there is someone who is new, y'all will not have any difficulty. 
So we will search for TWRP over here. This is the image. So download link here. Okay. Now while you're downloading, just keep an eye of what exactly I'm saving it to. So the moment you get the save option, go to your platform tools folder and save it to the root of your platform tools folder. Okay. Save it over here. Bam. It's done. Now go back to your platform tools folder. Go to the address bar over here and type in CMD, hit enter. Now first we will verify if our device is detected. So let's type fast boot paste devices. There you go. The device is connected. You can see the serial number, right? Now we are ready to flash the recovery. So we'll just run a very simple command and then we will drag this file here instead of typing the name. So fast boot flash recovery space and then drag this over here as you can see hit enter it says sending recovery writing recovery finished okay now on your phone what you need to do is press and hold volume up and power till that time you see the poco logo just keep it pressed okay as you can see you have the poco logo you can disconnect the cable and TWRP is booting up. Now you can decrypt your data using your pin password, whatever lock screen password you have. There you have it. Bam. Now we'll quickly also reboot into system because I was on a custom ROM. I should not have any issues booting into, you know, the OS and uh, all my data should be intact. But remember what I said at the start of the video, right? You need to make sure that you back up all the data on your phone before you do anything of this sort. Because otherwise, if you lose some data, you will probably not be happy about it. Anyone would not be happy with the data loss that they have while flashing a ROM or updating a TWRP and stuff like that. Now, as you can see, CR Droid 8.6 has just booted up. All my data is still intact. I have the latest TWRP which supports Android 12 decryption. So this was a quick step-by-step -step guide for you guys to get the latest TWRP on your Poco X3 Pro. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.